Hey, what's up, my quesadillas? So in this video right here, I asked down in the comments if y'all wanted to see a tour of my house and my neighborhood, and a lot of you guys said yes, so that's what, that's what we're doing today. Here we go. Let's get right into it. And get your kiss on. So I think it's been about two months in the house now. Pretty settled in. So this is my room right here. Yeah, this is my desk, computer here. Got it hooked up to a hard drive. Got a second monitor here. Got like a little external computer thing there. So my dad's a tech geek. That's kind of his thing. He's a communications officer. He's like that guy that does that. He just gives me all this technology stuff. Like I just had this and then he just came in my room and just kept giving me like a new thing each day. So that's a perk of having a tech dad, I guess. I've been sleeping on this couch right here. I heard it's not that good for your back. So I think I'm developing mild scoliosis. And I got a little desk here. This is the thing to control the heater. I got a lot of writing platforms here. Got a little pen case thing. So yeah, my room is kind of like a stage. Everyone could just see me. And this is my little chair. This is my drawer. I finally hung up my silver E2 play button. That's always cool. I think when I get the gold one, I'll put it across from here. I'll put it up there. I just made this yesterday. I got a little billboard thing. Got all my goals right here. This is my boy Chip. He's wearing my night thingy. He's a monkey banana thing. This is my poop. This is my grandfather's camera. Japanese grandfather's camera. Old, 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 old camera. He used this to take pictures of the 1964 Tokyo Olympics. Pretty cool, right? I got some boxing gloves. I've been doing that a little bit lately. Just got my clothes in here. This is my other camera. If you've been a quesadilla for a long time, you know why I have two of the same camera. This is the box that the silver play button came in. Laundry. This is the front door. Got a little pain in there by my sister. That's the kitchen. Right here's the living room. My mom and my grandma's in there. And some like helpers for my grandma are in there. It actually smells like shit right now. I think they're cleaning my grandma's shit. That's the kitchen. So here's the bathroom. This is where I take selfies sometimes. This is the shower. That's pretty cool. I like to think about life in here. And then this is the bathroom. Boom. Pretty nice bathroom. You can wash your butt in here and stuff. I don't really use that though. I should start using it. Now I can go upstairs. And then here's where the rest of my family lives. Here's the, here's the uh, ocean. Right here, this is my parents' room. And this is my sister's room. There's the toilet and my sister's in here. Jesus. I guess this is what a 16 year old girl's room looks like. What the fuck? And this is my other sister's room. Yeah. Okay. Hey, May. Uh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just, uh, I was going to give the quesadillas a tour of your room. Why? Because, because uh, I was showing, showing everyone the whole house. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm busy right now. You're busy? It's okay. I'm not trying to talk to you. Mm. Man, your room is cleaner than Ons. I'm just tired. Good job, man. We got a desk here. Oh, this is our bed. What, what were you doing earlier, man? What were you doing just now? Oh, uh, just my birthday. Yeah. Oh, that's a surprise. What? Shh. Don't tell them yet. <laughs> okay, so what were you doing earlier? Um, it has strawberry chocolate. Oh, okay. It's new. Oh, nice. You got some touch. Strawberry chocolate? Yes. Hey. And mask with pedals. Oh, nice. Two pedals. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Can mm -hmm. I have one? Okay, you have this. Ah, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. This is pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of stuffed animals. So this was my Switch, but I gave it to me because I need to get into grind mode. I don't have time to be playing video games. So uh, it's actually kind of a big day because it's March 24th, and that means it's May's birthday! Mm -hmm. Woo oh yeah! Let's go! <coughs> Woo! Woo! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear May! Happy birthday to you! Ow! What did you do? Ow! 
Alright, let's go. Uh, my bag in it. Oh, whoops. Alright. Nice. <laughs> Anything you want to tell the kids to do for your birthday? Yeah. What? June. June. And we can visit Japan. Oh, yeah, no, June's, no, I mean, yeah, June's in Colorado right now. Alright. Maybe he'll come soon. Get out of my room. Oh, okay. Alright, so I think that's it for the house. So I'll show you the labor. Alright, so we're gonna show you the labor. Alright, so this is the house. So, yeah, see, this is my room right here. The sakuras are starting to bloom. It's that time of the year. So, yeah, if we walk down this hill, we'll get to like more of the main road. Here's like a little platform thing. When I first got here, I saw two teenagers, like a boy and a girl just sitting right there. I thought that was a vibe. If you walk up these stairs right here, there's like a, a community center type of thing. Right here is a little park. Not much of a park, but. Here we got a crow right here, eating something in there. Here's the main road. So this road right here leads all the way to the station. And right here is the family mart. I think a notable part about this station there's a big bridge going over this whole town. I feel like that's a pretty staple part of Mabori Kaigai, this bridge right here. The train line is just running right down here. So this is a pretty popular place to live for military people. A little more of like westernized. Like if we go by the beach, I, I even get like a little bit of California vibes. Right here is the only ramen shop in this station. It's I. It's got some good chahan. I mean, that's just your typical ramen place. Nothing special, really. I was gonna work there, actually, but nah, I got college and got a lot of stuff going on. So if you're not too familiar with Japan, when you say wherever you live, you just say your station. Your station is where you live. That's just your spot. And most of the stuff is gonna be like right outside the station. There's like a little downtown for each station, I guess. So this is the Lawson. Oh, here's a nice little flower shop. Maybe I could get me some flowers. Here, we'll, we'll do a little loopy loop. We'll go through the Lawson. Here is the station. Right here, there you go. Mabori Kaigan Station. Oh, I got a haircut place right here. Oh, yeah, there was a haircut place right next to the Family Mart, too. But it's pretty expensive, so I go to another haircut place right over here. I've never actually been there before, but they got cheap haircuts. So, boom, back around, flower shop here. We got the grocery store. There's a McDonald's inside. And yeah, this is kind of like that main area. This is the drugstore right here. Laundry store here, dental clinic, clothing store. There's an Indian restaurant right here. I don't know now and about that. There's a grocery store, a veterinarian center. Here you get your prescriptions, bank. And here's a haircut place right here. Okay. Let's see how this haircut is. All right, so, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of look like a dad now or something. You know, I've said this before. I've said this in my one of my earliest Japan vlogs. I just don't like the way Japanese people cut hair. The proportions are off. I don't know, I guess it's just the American style. It's all about the fades and the tapers, but I don't know, they just get the dimensions right. I don't know, they do this thing in America where they make it look like you don't have a receding hairline, but in Japan, they just accentuate it. I don't know, they... The proportions are they just cut it like all around at the same time so you get some like bowl cut type of deal going on you get some weird bush type deal going on but in america they cut your shit in like a certain way like in some in a certain proportion that makes it look like you got a nice head like i got kind of a peanut head looking thing so 
like a little mega mine in America. They just usually they cut your shit right, so it's kind of I look like less of a peanut, but here they just turn me into a peanut. But yeah, here's the beautiful sunset. Right over there was the shopping center. I just walked this way and then walked it here. Now we're on this road. I was just walking all the way this way from my house to the station, but down this road is the peanut. Wait, the peanut? No, over there's the beach, not the peanut. Man, I just came out. I just came out of my mouth. That was like one of those moments where you're like writing something, but then you think of a different word. And then you write that word instead of the word you're supposed to write. So here's like this walkway that goes, it's actually a really long walkway. It goes all the way down here and even across the street, it keeps going. I really like this station though. It's really peaceful. I like to go on walks out here. It's very naturey. A lot of trees. A fresh supply of oxygen here. But yeah, what's that thing with the peanut gallery? Isn't that like a joke? Like something about the peanut gallery? I forgot, but I feel like a peanut gallery right now. I feel like my confidence just went down. At least like before, I might have not looked my best, but at least I wasn't caring. At least that was just like my super rugged look. But I just got a haircut. Like this is the part where I'm supposed to be fresh, but I just feel like feel like a peanut all right so here is where it kind of reminds me of california boom look at all these palm trees i think these are palm trees oh shoot there's all these little flying things here yo these things follow me around everywhere i swear i don't even know these like these little flying thingy they're always following me around there's just a whole a big old road right here lined up with palm trees and uh, here's the beach right here Here's the beach, so let's go. To the beach, eat, let's go get a wave. I like to walk out here, just listen to an audiobook. But anyway, I don't really like my haircut. Like after he cut my hair, he showed me the back of my head through the mirror, and I was like, ah, uh, yeah, could you like cut it a little bit more? And they cut it a little bit more. And they showed me again, and it was like the same thing, but just shorter. And I was like, ah, uh, I'm gonna just end this here before it gets even worse. That was probably the worst haircut I've ever gotten in my entire life. And I, I didn't like the way it was too. I don't know. Like usually, I expect that top tier customer service from Japan, but this guy just looked like he hated his job. There was no passion in it. There's no passion whatsoever. But I guess I understand. I guess sometimes I, f I could be that way on YouTube. But you know what? I would feel that way too if I was giving out shitty haircuts every day. Like when another customer came in and shop owners, when a customer comes in, you say, they say, irashaimase. And usually they say it real loud. Like if you go to a wrong place, you know, you'll, you'll hear it. But this guy, he just whispered in my ear. The customer definitely didn't hear it. I'm the only one that barely heard it. That was disappointing. Anyway. Wait, you know what? Maybe I was just having a bad day. Like that one shooter. I did not mean to moan. I'm really sorry you had to hear that. And over there is like the end of the peninsula. And that's where the uh, Japanese Naval Academy is. Over there is the US military base. There's Monkey Island. That's a thing. A lot of people fish out here. I actually kind of want to start fishing. It seems really chill.
E. So I just got this chick to take a to take um to take pictures of me. Yeah. So I just asked her. She was like running, and I just, I just asked her if she could take pictures of me for the thumbnail. <laughs> I told her to you know couch down, you know, try different angles and stuff. You know, she looked very she looked very inexperienced. So I had to kind of show her the ropes a little bit of photography. So I was like posing and stuff for like two minutes, and I was checking them out. I asked her if she was a college student. She was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. She's not a middle schooler in disguise. So I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't thinking this at first, but you know, you're kind of cute. You got Instagram? And yeah, I got it, baby. Hey, <laughs> she. Let's go. Damn. She was pretty cute. She was pretty cute. She seemed like really nice and just, she seemed really shy. Uh, that's nice. Anyway, so now my confidence is a little back up. And that's the segue into the next video. Because you're probably wondering. Wait, Kay? I thought you had a girlfriend. Yo, Kay, that's messed up. You got a girlfriend, bro. That's not cool. That's not cool to do on Wednesdays. Wait, Kay. Don't you have a girlfriend? Whoa, Kay, you got a girlfriend, bro. What the f- That's not cool. Wait, Kay, didn't you have a girlfriend? <sighs> yeah, sadly. Not anymore. And that is what the next video will be about. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like cauliflower. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to show you guys something. playground i found a soccer ball here before i stole it a lot of the kids come here to play they got a zipline thing here if we just walk down this street it's the family mart the beach but yeah across the street from the playground there's a little field thing right here and that's a weird looking dog i work out at this field every day so yeah there's a pull up and dip bar right there and then right here I don't know what you call it, but like it's a like a foot acupuncture thingy. Like you just stand right here, and you just hurt your feet like a motherfucker. Ow! That shit hurts. Ow! Fuck! I dropped my milk tea. Oh fuck! Ah! Fuck! Ah! ah fuck! God damn! That shit hurts. I don't know how you do this. This one's the only one that's not too bad. It's like a nice little pressure point thingy. Feels so weird. <laughs> such a <laughs> has such a sensitive spot in my foot. Like right in the middle. Such a weird spot. Ah, it's uncomfortable. I should train myself to get used to it. It'll make me like a superman. Alright, that's it for the video. Check out my Patreon link in the description. Follow my Twitch, gonna start streaming soon. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Shall we?